This program is a joint production of the Kimo Keo Foundation, whose mission is to preserve and perpetuate Hawaii's unique culture, language, people, and environment. Information is online at kimokeo.org. And Maui Causes, a crowd-funded media production group supporting not-for-profit, progressive, and environmental causes in Maui County. Join us on the web at mauicauses.org. Aloha kakiaka Maui. Welcome to the Kimokeo Foundation show. We have a special guest this morning, and I would like for her to introduce herself. Aloha anakala o wau o Joylen Paman. Ke um, kapele ki kena o na leo pulama o Maui, ke kahi kula, um, a ke kahi hui e malama i na ohana o kapuna na leo o Maui. Aloha, Uncle Kalamai. <laughs> I had to just introduce myself, Maka Ola Aloha Vai'i. My name is Joy Lynn Paman. I'm the president of Naleo Pulama o Maui, a nonprofit that helps to support the Hawaiian Immersion Preschool here in Wailuku, Punana Leo Maui. Oh, Joy Lynn, I think that's really wonderful because, uh, you know, the Kimukeo Foundation, uh, one of its uh, uh, priority or purpose uh, was to um, preserve, perpetuate, educate Hawaiian culture. And, yes. Um, one of the things was asked about our uncle, you know, what would you do, you know? And I said, oh, I would love to preserve our language. So by opening up with uh, the Olelo, it just tells everybody it's a, it's a true um, principle of Kimokeo Foundation. And uh, we have uh, done a, a, a thing last year in 2017, and here we are in 2018. Uh, mm -hmm. And so this morning, you know, it's um, it's really great that we we're into 2018 because it's an exciting time for all of us, you know, and uh, especially Kimokeo Foundation because, uh, you know, we had uh, had a year um, collaboration, mm -hmm. and uh, you expressed to them um, who um, we're working with, you know, mm -hmm. and I think uh, I'll leave that up to you about who. Uh, we working with and or collaborating with and uh, and uh, so can you share that with us? Yeah, sure, Uncle. You know, um, uh, you and I have known each other for many, many years, and um, have always followed in your footsteps and your guidance as to always making every effort, every activity that we do, focus on. Um, the next upcoming generation and preserving our culture. And i um, so proud of when you formed Kimokeo Foundation that that's what you make as a center, is um, the preservation and perpetuation of our culture, whether it be in, um, in our Hawaiian language or um, through our cultural practices. And so um, I'm associated with the nonprofit Naleo Pulamo Maui. And um, what we do is help support um, the, the students in the school of Punanaleo Maui. It's a Hawaiian immersion preschool that um, basically immerses the children, 30 students at Punanaleo, in the Hawaiian language throughout the entire day. So as soon as the keiki walk into the school, they are already hearing the Hawaiian language and um, they hear it all the way till they leave. But what our, our, we don't just focus on just the school alone. We want the Hawaiian language to flow into the homes of all of the people that attend and, and into their ohana. So we always um, uh, uh, persuade the families that attend Punana Leo to learn the language on their own and use it in, at their home, use it in the community. and. The idea behind Punana Leo is if you, Punana means a nest. And um, if you were to see a, a mother bird feeding her babies, she's basically regurgitating the food into the baby's mouths. So that's the same idea with the Olelo, is that we are taking from one generation and um, feeding it into the mouths of the next generation. Wow. And in that sense, that's how we perpetuate it. So with Kimokeo Foundation, we've um, created a great partnership over the last year, year and a half or so, where um, our school is being able to um, grow and look into our future um, because of 
this partnership and how we can expand what we've already done because our school has been around for 30 years. We just celebrated our 30th anniversary. and It was like uh, November 11, 2017. Uh, yeah, 10th. November 10th. November 10th, 2017, yeah. 30 years. Yes. Wow, it's just amazing uh, uh, because uh, I'm pretty sure that, you know, Punana Leo um, had some evolution of life from the beginning to November 10, 2017. And then today we really um, can look back because uh, there was uh, some things uh, done in 2017 to make this possible. Yep. And uh, are you able to share some of that? Yeah, well, we... Um it was, it was time for all of us as a Punana Leo Maui Ohana to get together and celebrate what we have accomplished for the last 30 years. I've been a parent at Punana Leo for maybe about the last seven or eight years with the three children that I've had go through the program. But um, there's been families that have been there from day one, from the 30 years ago. And they tell me stories of how it was at the very beginning, it wasn't easy. Um, it they didn't have a, a home to, like f to call their own for their school, and once they were able to move from one place to another, then that um, sense of ohana began to thrive. And the, you know, sometimes they even had to kuē. They had to hold up signs and um, support Hawaiian immersion and the perpetuation of the language, but. Um, Punana Leo started back in the, the 70s. Um, it's a state, it's actually a statewide um, um, set of schools. And um, the idea back then was that there's only a handful of native Hawaiian speakers and we have to take action now in order to pr preserve Ooh, what could. And so a lot of people, it wasn't the most like Likeable thing to be done. Yeah. It was almost like an outcast or unknown and yes. uh, a wrongful Somebody thing. Somebody making to noise, but. A wrongful thing to do. And uh, so, can we uh, show part of the film that talks about this and show this part, you know? Yeah, sure. We have a, um, a backstory that we Next had written. Uh, backstory, of course. Backstory. And this, um, this short film that we're going to be um, showing is just talks a little bit about. Um, how Punana Leo has come full circle, and you'll meet some of our, um, one of our uh, makua, our parents right now, who actually was a student at one time, and now his children are attending. So let's take let's a look see at the that backstory. backstory. Aloha mai, kubiko patos, kou inoa, wa helebao, i kapunana leo, kou va kamalii, a ovao, Kamua o ko ohana e komo ke a ano polo kalamu wahavi e ya u ka ike o ke kai kanaka kanaka Maui. Yeah. No la na me ke lama na o wa mau po wau e hele ana ka umau ke ki ao he koho yeah he poho na me i ao i a ya u a ale wau e havi i ke lama o makana i ka o ke ki. As Kumu Kaomatos welcomes her son and Mo'opuna to the school, the intergenerational impact of this kula is clear, and it was a goal that drove this mother to step forth as the first kahu and do whatever it took to provide this opportunity for her own keiki and others. You know, it was a little bumpy at the beginning. We stand on the side of the road with our signs, support Hawaiian language in all places in our community. That occasion was 1987, and we have never looked back, only forward. I think the parents came together because they believed in the same thing. They wanted their children to be able to speak Hawaiian. And for over 30 years, Punana Leo Omawi has been putting our Olalo Hawaii back into the ears and mouths of hundreds of Maui's keiki. I didn't know. Oka 
o ke ola o ko lelo ka ola ni ka lelo he kule ana no no lela he nani ke i ano hana i o ke keki I love my kumu because it's just wonderful with the keiki. But I really find the most rewarding part of my job is working with the parents. The families have been just wonderful. They've really grown here. You know, they're very supportive to their children. They're working really hard. They're putting food on their tables. And then I make them do a whole bunch of things here too. But I have found that the more that they put into this program, the more that they get out. It's not a school just for the student or the individual. It's for the entire ohana or the whole family. That type of upbringing or educational system, and when you include everybody like that, you know that by their participating in your education, that they'll be there for you in the long run. What I have seen from the graduates that have come from this program, I see them as wonderful citizens of this community. There's an understanding there. They're very grounded. They have this identity. What I value so much about Punanaleo and Kayapuni is that you learn the difference between cognitive accumulation, just learning something, and then you recognize what the difference is when you come from a foundation. And when you come from that foundation, you grow and learn more from that foundation. Then you can enter other spheres. I work for a real estate development firm. What I've learned from being here is having an advocate on the inside for the ancestral people, for the ancestral families of this place, helps their voices be heard even louder. That is the blessing of being grounded in a kaipuni and a punanaleo papahana that allows for that opportunity to rise as we move into the future. When we talk about Malama Aina, for me, and I teach this in my classes as well, we choose to live here even if it's for a month or if it's for our whole lives. This place has a history and it has a people and it has a language. The word for water, Makolala Hawaii, is vai. Everybody repeat after me, vai. This place has its own story. We need to learn that story. And Punanaleo Omawi has worked hard to ensure that this story is continually heard through our language. And while we are celebrating our accomplishments, we also look to what lies ahead. The 30th celebration is just that, is to celebrate that we have come so far and there's so much more we can do with this and go forth. With our current location, it suits us for 30 students. But when you see that there's so many other people that want to attend, and you know that there's sometimes even 90 applicants some years, and you can't take them all? How can we serve our community, all these people who want to learn the language? How can we better serve them? And Haleho is the answer. Haleho is a huge idea. People are scared when they think about tackling building a new school. Are you crazy? <laughs> but we are the Makua that have experience the vai vai, the richness of this program, and we want others to experience it as well. People need to know that we're still here 30 years later. We're still moving forward, and if they want to be a part of this, they can come on and be a part of this. We have a lot to offer. Ano kana kolu makahiki, ali haave kio, a o kela hana nui aloha. O kela kame ai o la nei maloko kei hana o ho. A i kei yawa no kala ko hana nui aloha wa o kapo. Ho mai kai. <laughs> Is that awesome, Big Uncle? Story. Yeah, it was great. I really love the idea of being able to tell how we have come full circle as a program for our, for our ohana that attends, and seeing like how Kavika was um, entered into the program when he was in preschool, and he felt like it was his kuleana. There, like there was no other choice for him to send his kids elsewhere. And, and now you could see his uh, second child now in the program. And his mother is one of the uh, kumu there, the teachers wow, there, so, great. yeah. And I know that uh, you had three children, uh, so yeah. was it Kamaha'o? 
kamahao and ka imipono and ka now ilikea. Ilikea is and there uh, her last year. And so as a parent, you um, know everything about, uh, you know, so, you know, I don't know if everybody really know Punana Leos, you know, maybe you as a parent and people who go to that, on the, I'm not mm -hmm. sure everybody. Explain Punana Leo from the Aha Punana Leo and to here we are and that we're Punana Leo on Maui. Yeah. And then here we have uh, three total in the Maui. But here we are uh, really, so can you explain that and uh, uh, the, the structure of that? <coughs> yes. So. I guess if you think of it as a big umbrella, there's mm -hmm. the Aha Punana Leo, and that is a statewide program of, I believe, 13 or 14 Punana Leo schools. Throughout the state. Throughout the state, Beautiful. yes. Beautiful. Uh, but uh, we are 30 years. Would the others be uh, similar uh, 30 years, or would they uh, come at different stages uh, up to now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I believe Maui was uh, probably the third Punana Leo that was established throughout the state. And so we definitely are one of the oldest ones. Oldest. But Maui is very fortunate where just last year we opened up two more Punana Leo um, schools here on Maui. So now we have one in Hana called Punana Leo Ohana. And uh, the other one is in Lahaina, Punana Leo o Lahaina. Where, where are they located in Hana? And uh, uh, where, uh, where the classroom or the school is in Hana? Uh, they're just um, working out of a small school building um, right by Hana Ballpark. Uh -huh. And I, I believe they probably have about 20 students or so attending there. And it's really exciting because my Ohana's from Hana. And to see... Um, a lot of Hawaiian people that have always had that urge and that thirst for the language, and now they have a place in Hana Town to be able to work at it and um, and to watch the kiki just grow up and talking Hawaiian. It's like it really um, builds that excitement within the town. But one uncle, one thing I really want to make clear is that. Um, just because we Olalo Hawaii speak Hawaiian language, that doesn't mean that it's exclusive to only Hawaiians. By all means, it's uh, Punana Leo is a program made for any ethnicity, any race, and anyone can apply if you have a, a preschooler that um, you want to try to get into the program. And so what ages are there, um, Jarlene? Uh, preschoolers um, are uh, preschool the same ages everywhere, but... Uh, it's about so ages um, three to five years old. And um, people that are interested in applying can go to the AHA's website, ahapunanaleo.org, mm. to get the information on how to um, enroll and mm. apply for uh, Punana Leo. And then we have Lahaina. So where are they located at? Uh, I haven't visited their school out that side. I want to say it's close to Nahiena Ena School. Yeah, but Nahi Ena. Um, it is Nahi Ena. Yes, and um, they just opened up last year, and they actually were open um, maybe about 15, 17 years ago or so. Yeah, I remember um, that. And then uh, they closed their doors for a while, but there's just so many people that are interested in the program that I'm glad that they were able to reopen and. Mm -hmm. um, we ca we're just seeing a huge growth on the Lahaina side of the island as well. Yeah, for I immersion. remember they were at the church in Lahaina. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the name. Waiola? Waiola. Or Wainae, excuse me. Or Wai yeah. One of the churches. <laughs> anyway, they were located uh, there and then they reopened up again. So it shows the need of that. But I think the most important thing that everyone should know that is not only for Hawaiians, it's for everybody. Right. And, and they can apply or go online to ahaponanaleo.org? Uh, yes. And, and go right there. Yeah, and that website also has really good resources for mm -hmm. people that just want to learn about Hawaiian language classes mm -hmm. and um, what Punana Leo has to offer on a statewide level. And then here we, uh, Kimokeo Foundation, are working directly with Punana Leo o Maui. Yes. And we are located at uh, Queen Kahamano Church. Is that correct? Yes, yes, up here in Wailuku across the county so building. How many students we have in Lahaina? Uh, in Lahaina, I want to say it's about 20 to 30 students and as well. And we have, I mean, here in, in Wailuku? In Wailuku, we're um, able to serve 30 students at a time. So we, we have almost 70 students that are in Punanaleo. Here on Maui here altogether, on Maui. yeah. And then, uh, so I just wanted to understand the structure, the Aha Punanaleo, where we have 13 or 14 uh, immersion Statewide. Hawaiian schools throughout the state. 
And I think the other thing is important that everyone can apply and go to the school. It's not right. particularly just Hawaiians. That's right. And then, uh, and then now we're here on our home island, which is Maui, and having three and then having approximately 70 students. Yeah. So I just wanted everybody to know that and that we, uh, Kimokeo Foundation, is uh, focusing on Punanale or Maui, which is in Wailuku, mm -hmm. in the Kahomano Church. Yes, and, yeah. Um, and the reason we, we're doing that is because um, we're, uh, we have a project uh, collaboration called Project, um, project Kuleana or, Kuleana, or, or, or oh, Haleho. Haleho. Yes. Haleho, Project Haleho. And uh, uh, Project Haleho, can we um, can describe Project Haleho to uh, where we at with Haleho and sure. what's going on? Sure. So um, we've been at um, the Ka'ahumanu Church for many years, and um, we can only serve 30 students at this time, but we know that there's many applicants every year, 50, 60, 70. I think even at some years, we even go up to 90 applicants, but you can only take so much. There's a certain ratio for preschoolers, and so it's um, definitely time to be able to expand and serve more students, and uh, we need to get into a new uh, structure or house that or, or a school building that would be able to accommodate more students so that we can continue on um, the path that we have been going mm -hmm. and so the project is called Haleho it means to build a new building and um, we have had plans drawn up in the past and uh, our past ohana have been able to um, create a design that would work to accommodate new students but we also serve our community and Haleho addresses that where we want it to be a resource center where people can come and learn the language and uh, use the language in everyday life and so if people need to have meetings um, especially the Hawaiian immersion school programs we often have meetings and this would the resource center and school would be a location where people could just come and olalo Hawaii whether you're a beginner or advanced it's a place to um, let the olalo thrive I think that's important the resource center mm -hmm. where the public can come and learn olalo Hawaii yes and I think that uh, right now um, all throughout the state of Hawaii, not only Maui, but offers that service on a particular day. Mm -hmm. and, and can you tell them what day is that and how, how the first was developed to make sure that the parents Olelo Hawaii, so the parents was one of the priority to come and learn that. Right, because the Punana Leo program, it, you know, it's focused on a preschooler, but it's really a family-oriented type of education. And so on Wednesday nights, uh, we currently offer free Hawaiian language programs. Uh, and it's offered at the college. And that's at 6 o'clock. So people can just go over there and, um, and just sit in and learn language. And we have classes for beginners and for advanced uh, students as well. Um, so that's every Wednesday? Every Wednesday, yeah. yes. So they go every Wednesday to University of Hawaii, Maui? Yes. And how do, how do they get in, uh, online or contact or information about that? Uh, they would, should call the school. Kilina Mau is our kahu, or our director there. And the number is 244-5676. Again, 244-5676. And they will call yes. Kili'i? Kilina Mau, yeah. yes. Can you tell me about her because she's the she's really the our um, kind of like poor or leader in uh, yeah. Project Ho'omao because uh, um, and uh, I always look at uh, towards her for um, this thirty year she's been there how long um, for probably about twenty seven of those thirty years twenty seven <laughs> so, yeah so we're really fortunate to have Kili'i. Kili. Kili, yes. She's definitely the po'o or the, the, the head of our, of our Punanaleo Maui. Um, and she too has shown that full circle type of experience at the school where her children have g gone through the program and she has raised such beautiful children that are now 
educators and one her oldest daughter uh, teaches at Kalama Intermediate in the Kulakaya Puni program so she teaches immersion her son is a uh, is a fabulous artist and uh, her other daughter is a current teacher at Punanaleo too so what I think is really exciting about the program is it grows people uh, the students grow and the families grow with a identity of who they are here in Hawaii and um, that's when you graduate or you puka from the school you then are given the kuleana to continue the language and so Kilin Namau is um, a great example of how that I is think happening. The, I think everybody should know that how Kili and her husband mm -hmm. and then have one daughter teaching Punanaleo one daughter teaching Kulakaya Puni yes and I just uh, v uh, visit them last Sunday at the Maui Culture and Arts Center. Yes. Her son's name is. Um, um, you know, um, um, but um, anyway, ku he. Kuakea. Huh? Yeah. Kuakea. Ku ku yeah. He drew a beautiful um, so art piece, and I, I would encourage everybody to go see that. Yes. But what's most exciting about it is that his mentor was uh, Sabaro. Yes. You know, and then, so Sabaro as the mentor was there. And uh, having uh, him as the, uh, the mentee, mm -hmm. and the model was there, the tutu man yes. who was teaching him how to make the net, you know, yeah. the fishing net, you know. Yeah. And so here we have uh, uh, three nations, three generations working together. Yeah. And then you have, you know, where you have um, three generations was present because um, Keely's mom and dad was there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you had Keely's mom and dad, then Keely and the husband, then you have the children, yeah. and then now you have the kupuna, you yeah. know, working with, uh, with them, you know, so. Yeah. What a, what a, what a um, thing from, um, like when you say, oh, that when they learn the language, they grow as mm -hmm. a family, and, yeah. they, and they grew into, uh, you, know, you know, often we hear, Oh, this guy gotta go here, go there. Where, <laughs> uh, where Kili and her family needed not to go nowhere and made it work on Maui. Yes. And having a job and a profession. Yeah. You know, uh, so I'm, I'm just, um, my uh, compliments go off to this Ohana. Yeah, Maybe and they're just one great example of success stories that have come out of the program, and we've had others who. Um, graduated from the very first class of Punanaleo and have gone out into the world, have become extremely successful, but eventually they just felt like it was time to return home too. And um, it's just that iini that grows inside of people that desire to want to give back, back to your roots. One, one of them I uh, always uh, reflect on me, and uh, you know, it's really a, a recent reflection in the last couple of years, is Leahi Hall. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, being she w was she was one of the first graduates. First graduates, yeah. You know, and and that's back in 1997 or 1987. 1987. Yeah. You know, or and, uh, yeah. She was a first graduate, and uh, now she's uh, uh, here home. Yeah. And she went to Stanford University. Yeah. And I, I don't I don't know. She was a successful um, um, volleyball player there, and right now she works at a local development company. And yeah, she works like with she the, like she we showed in the backstory film um, how how she and um, Kaniel Kaianui have been um, great success stories of students that have gone and come back as well as yeah, well. Yeah, and then, you know, and, and we have uh, like one of our. Uh, first advocates for the Hawaiian language, um, Hoku. Yes. You know, uh, Hoku, uh, Hoku, um, oh, Auntie Hoku Holt. Auntie yeah. Hoku Holt, you know. Yes. And uh, she's now at University of Hawaii, Maui, mm -hmm. uh, with Hawaiian um, language. You know? Yeah. And then also we have uh, Louis Hokuana, mm -hmm. who is a Hawaiian language person and who is the chancellor. Yeah. So um, there's so much success in um, the birth of our language, so Punana Leo, the birth of our language, and yeah. how it uh, evolved 30 years later. So, you know, we have so much success stories, and, and here we are today, um, Project Ho'omau, you know. <laughs> yeah, um, well, um, Ho'omau is coming up. It's our annual fundraiser. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, it's our annual fundraiser for uh, Punana Leo Omaui, and um, it's going to be on March 24th here at Maui Nui Botanical Gardens. And um, it's an all day event filled with Hawaiian entertainment. We got. Well, we're, uh, gonna, we're, we're gonna come back to that, okay. Jolene, because uh, oh, 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 we're gonna take a little break.
Okay. So hold that thought, and we're going to share that with, with uh, the Ohana. Sure. Thank you, know. This program is a joint production of the Kimo Keo Foundation, whose mission is to preserve and perpetuate Hawaii's unique culture, language, people, and environment. Information is online at kimokeo.org. And Maui Causes, a crowd-funded media production group supporting not-for-profit, progressive, and environmental causes in Maui County. Join us on the web at mauicauses.org. Ho'omau. Ho'omau, yes. So Ho'omau is our annual fundraiser for Punana Leo Maui, and it's going to be on March 24th this year. It's a Saturday at Maui Nui Botanical Gardens. And we have award-winning Hawaiian entertainment. One of our makua is Napua Greg. She will be singing. We have Kamaka Kukona. We even have Navai Ho'olu'u o Kea Nue Nue. We have a great array of Hawaiian entertainers. We have a fabulous live and silent auction. That's usually what everybody likes to come for is the excitement of live auction because we have prizes that are valued in the thousands and people get them for a good steal. But all the money raised at Ho'omau helps support Naleo Pulamo Maui, our nonprofit organization, which then turns around and supports the school and our activities with the Ohana. Well, I think they come there for many reasons. First of all, how long we've done Ho'omau? I think this is going to be the 32nd year of Ho'omau. Or the 31st I think the other Ho'omau. thing also that they come there for the music, they come there for the food. Yes, the food. And uh, arts and craft, and then the silent yep. auction. So I think there's a combination why everybody wants to come there because this is the first or opportunity, the beginning of the year, they can get all the things that they really want, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's all a lot of special stuff, so. And it's only, it's only $15 ahead of time to get a ticket. All minute stop locations are selling them. Um, you can definitely come and see parents of Punana Leo <laughs> because we have 50 tickets each, so each um, to sell. Each of the parents has about 50 tickets. I yes, think. yes, so, it's part know, of our kuleana. So, so if uh, the, the neighbor next door know that this is a parent of yes. uh, Punana Leo, don't wait for that. Go over there and t- tell them that you help them yes, out. Yes, by all means. And it's $15, $15 a ticket, and we have a lot of parking. Yeah. And uh, we're right across the, the stadium yep. of the Wall Memorial Gym. So we're so fortunate to have a, a great parking area that they walk right across. Yeah. But I think there's more great things there. And uh, this year we're uh, encouraging uh, the founders of Kimokeo Foundation to participate in going to the silent auction and go to the opening. So all of the people who support in Kimo 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 get understanding what our collaboration is about. Yes, you know? yes, yes. And, uh, and if they want, they can ask us or ask you guys of Project Hale Ho, mm-hmm. you know. And, uh, you know, I know that uh, Kihei Canoe Club, uh, Dari um, and Bud always uh, make sure the Halau participate by selling 50 tickets and yes. encourage them. And this is not just because of the ticket price. This is about people always saying, oh, I want to help and I want to get involved. Uh, if you want to help and get involved and you want to really see the secret of the Olelo Hawaii, yeah. this is the place. And it I mean, is. we're going to have an award-winning uh, entertainment, a poor Craig. Yeah, and for uh, 15 bucks. I mean, plus that's it's a homegrown, it's a all day, entertainer. all day event from 9 to sunset. And um, it all just helps the the kiki out and the perpetuation of the language so yeah. everybody should come on down and enjoy it. it's the it is the hawaiian um event of of maui f- for central maui so we, but we also ha- uh, uh, have um kulukai puni right yeah yeah are there, Kul- are there partners or they're, they're so once the ohana? students um puka or graduate from punana leo they enter into the next part of the Hawaiian Immersion Program called Kula Kaya Puni. And um, the students from Central Maui often go to um, Paia School. And that's from kindergarten to? Oh, yes. Kinder- Kula Kaya Puni is from kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. 12th grade. Yeah. So for Central Maui, the, the tract is that they go to Paia till fifth, from kindergarten to fifth grade. And then they go to Kalama Intermediate from sixth to eighth grade, and then they finish off at Kekolike High School. High school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and what about the west side? And what about east side? Like Hana and Lahaina. Where where would they go? 
Well, Hana is just starting off. So last year, they had the first Punana Leo there as well as they started the first kindergarten class. And I believe that um, they're continuing on um, to just have one or two classes in the Kulakaya Puni side. And then on Lahaina, um, the students go to Nahiena Ena School, Princess Nahiena Ena, and then they also go to Lahaina Luna. Mm -hmm. So um, Kulakaya Puni in itself is much like Punana Leo, where the best way to um, teach the language is to immerse them in a place where you only hear Olelo Hawaii. And so Kulakaya Puni is in need of creating its own school one day so that we don't have to share campuses with other students. Not that it's the wrong thing to do, it's just if we really want to focus in on immersing, on the language. immersing it. Not to intermingle during that immersion period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so just creating one big campus mm -hmm. um, where all grades from kindergarten to 12th grade can be, then that would be the true um, way of, um, of having the program be. And you know, it's come a long way so far, had a lot of bumps in the road, but um, you never know, there's people out there who c care and support well, our cause. 30 years, I think uh, we've come a long ways, mm -hmm. and we need to thank all those who was in the beginning because they took all the hard cases down and paved the way of what it is today. Yeah. And, uh, you know, having uh, 30, 32 students um, at uh, Punanaleo or Maui in Wailuku, it shows um, almost one student a year we had to work for. Yeah. And so we come now to Project Hale Hall, yes. building a new building. And uh, the reason for the new building is that we've got into a capacity now. We outgrew where we at, and then for us to take on more students, you know, we would have to build a new building exactly what says, you know? Yeah. Hale Ho. In fact, we have a video about Hale Ho that would be good to show so that people can see the, the current vision of what we would like to create where we have the school and we have the resource center and uh, we could take a look at that. So let's take a look at Hale Ho. Okay.
would you identify um, what we're doing and where we're going and the end results, you know? Well, like I mentioned earlier, Uncle, our school is busting at the scenes where there's so many people that want to attend Punanaleo o Maui, but um, we don't have the capacity or the space. So this video that we just showed of Haleho is the answer to it. Right. And so we want to put out a kahea, uh, call. a call out to the community that we are a program for the community and involve the community all the time and we need um, the support whether it's whether you might have land you want to give to us <laughs> or if you have um, uh, resources or professional skills um, that you could lend to the um, being able to build our our dream school. So I, th I think uh, the land part is really important mm -hmm. for uh, Project Haleho. Yes. To have our own land, right? Yes. And so when you say own land, we want to either purchase the land or have that. And, it, and we, we're not looking for much land. I guess it is much land when you speak of any land uh, on Maui, mm -hmm. but uh, we're looking for five acres of land. At least that. Haleho. I think so. A place where and people can run around. It will fit what the film is seen, mm -hmm. which will be our buildings, our parking lot, our resource, and, and resource center. center. That's right. Our playground. Yeah. You know, and uh, so I think that when you say kahea, kahea means we call out to you mm -hmm. and to, to to blow the pool and call out. We call out to you, and our 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 call goes in the wind and answers in your lap and say we are asking your help to yes. get the land to be owned by the school. Yep, we're yeah. at the, the brink. I mean, like you you and I have talked about before, we've been here 30 years. We see that we have the way, we know that our program works and we want to continue with this. And with Kimo Keo Foundation, the idea of creating a legacy, creating that generational um, bridge from one generation to the other, but when you, when that's you, what when this you would creation, do. There's a, another part of this learning process. And tell me the part of the, our they learned uh, two years of what, Doreen? Oh, uh, we were just mentioning about how the students are able to uh, not only learn a different language, but they're taught the ha hakalama, or they're able to read, read um, and write, read and write their names prior to going prior to, to going to kindergarten. So, so, so like the skills that the students I learn, I think they should know when they look at the, that uh, film. Uh, look at the part of the film shows uh, hakalama. Yes. Know, and uh, so that's the key for us because I don't think many people know that prior to them going to kindergarten, they read and write. Right, exactly. You know? I mean, right. But um, it's one of those um, key traits of being at a Punanaleo school that that particular type of, um, of lesson is taught to the kids. And by the time they enter into kindergarten, they'll be able to yeah. read and write. Yeah, and I think that's uh, going back to Project Holly Hall mm -hmm. is to fulfill now because we have such a demand to bring in more students, you know? Yes. And uh, do yeah. that. And I think that um, that's a key, you know? Yeah. So uh, uh, we, we just have a few minutes left. So um, we want to summarize um, kind of like what we do, and we're going to end it with uh, a beautiful thought of the day. But um, if you would take uh, what we discussed, what would you want to say to Ohana, you know, um, <coughs> to um, Puna Naleo Omawi, uh, Naleo Polama, uh, Kimokeo Foundation, mm -hmm. you know, so share these things with them, you know, uh, what, what few minutes we have left because it's important, I think, yeah. today to let them know that the language, Hawaiian language lives Exactly, Anko. Our our nuukia, our um, motto is "Eola um, Olalo Hawaii." The Hawaiian language shall live, and that touches my heart because I see it every day at the school that the work that we are doing, what you are doing, what our community is doing, is all those small little parts that are creating a thriving and living language. And um, just some final thoughts is that. Punanaleo, although it's made for a preschooler, it's really a program for the entire family. And we offer many services to the community to learn the language as well. And 
you know, are saying aloha ku aloha mai. You give your aloha and you receive your aloha. So if you have been in the community, have been touched by puna naleo maui or naleo pula mau maui, it's best to aloha ku aloha mai and show your aloha to us. And if there's a way to help support the future of puna naleo maui, then go ahead and support our Haleho project. And to get more information on that, you can go to naleopulama.com to get more information. Naleopulama.com. Yes. You know, I think that, the, I think not so much um, uh, Kimokia Foundation, me, I want to focus on Nakeki Owahini or Nakeki Okani mm -hmm. of what's going to be of our children for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. e Ola Olelo Hawaii. You know, that's what we want to focus on. Yes. And we're just an instrument to preserve, to perpetuate, and educate that. So exactly, I wanted our ohana to really focus on our future generation because they're the key of preservation of Hawaii. Yeah. And especially, you know, here we're on Maui. And, you know, always, always, you know, I'm so proud to know that Maui no ko oe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, olelo, e ola, olelo Hawaii mm -hmm. makes Maui no ko oe. Absolutely, absolutely. And mahalo to the Kimokeo Foundation for all the support and supporting these wonderful films that we've been able to see to get today. And we would like to um, show and end with the mele. Yeah, this is our, that? our school song and we hope you enjoy it. And mahalo uncle for having me today. I'm mahalo aku for <laughs> making this possible for all of us. Ay, mahalo nui.
I koʻu haku mua ana i keia mele, ua haku wau me ke ea, uh, ano viki viki, ano naue, he mele naue, no leila, um, hele au i ke kula mai ka i, maka puna na leo, ano lulu, a ka nae, i koʻu lawe ana i keia mele, i ko mako poe, <laughs> ohana ni i hau, ua loli ku u mele i mele, ni i hau, a ua li, hele au, this program is a joint production of the Kimo Keo Foundation, whose mission is to preserve and perpetuate Hawaii's unique culture, language, people, and environment. Information is online at kimokeo.org. And Maui Causes, a crowd-funded media production group supporting not-for-profit, progressive, and environmental causes in Maui County. Join us on the web at mauicauses.org.